Hey you guys, Neo Fight Reviews and News coming back at you. I finally got the chance to see Avatar The Way of Water last night, and I must say, James Cameron has once again created another masterpiece with stunning and breathtaking visuals from the environment to the creatures to the Navi clans. Before I dive into my review, I must say this film is a must watch in 3D. Watch it in 3D, guys. If you haven't watched the film yet, just be aware that my review may consist of some spoilers. Now let's get started. The beginning portion of the film focused on how the Na'vi were living after the Sky People left Pandora, but it then quickly shifted to the survival of the Na'vi, once again having to defend themselves from the Sky People, who are looking to make Pandora home for humanity. The returning foes, mainly Colonel Quaritch and his men, are now using avatars as many of them were unalived in the first film. The film's story overall centered around Jake and Natiri's family, primarily their children. Because he and his family are being hunted, Jake decides to migrate his family and leave the Omatakaya Navi clan, protecting them at the same time. They go to the Reef people, the Metkayina Navi clan, for sanctuary, which unfortunately brings danger to them. Because Jake's family are considered outsiders, the kids are often bullied and made fun of by the youth of the Reef people. But once Jake's youngest son, Loak, has an encounter on the outside of the reef and sticks up for Tanawari, son of the Metkayina leader, Loak gains their respect. There's also the sense of needing to belong on behalf of Kiri, as aside from being an outsider, she also doesn't know about her past or who her father is. We do know she is the daughter of Grace, Sigourney Weaver's character, and she has been taken in as part of Jake and Atiri's family. Another theme that we see in this film is one that we saw in the previous film, and that is the damage and hurt humanity is willing to do for its own gain. I must highlight the third act of this film, which was completely filled with thrilling and action-packed scenes completed with a compelling climax up until the final moments of the film. Now we get to the cons of the film for me. The film had multiple storylines, all which intertwine, but it takes away from the development of others, such as Kiri's origin, beyond being Grace's daughter or her powers, but I am certain it will be touched on in the next film, which means we have to wait X amount of years for that development. Next, although it wasn't a con for me, a buddy of mine and his wife felt that the film dragged a bit, mainly when Loak builds his connection with Payakan. This takes place during the middle of the film. Overall, you guys, I recommend this film. Beyond the visuals, the film's score gave it a sense of grandeur. I can't wait to watch it for a second time.